discretion is advised. Do y'all want to talk about that video? Let me see if I can pull it up. I I, I kind of want to talk about it. Here it is. Here's this. Oh, man, the sad lady. Are you ready? All right. Let me, let me preface this with. Don't go find this dumb chick, you know, and uh, tell her how dumb she is. She's too dumb for that, you know. Let me take a swig here. <sighs> ready your ready your your ears. I've seen a lot of dumb takes. And this one is not almost it's not the worst take I've ever seen. It's just kind of baffling. I don't quite understand what she's trying to say. So let's let, let's go through. We'll we'll EFAP this. We're gonna we're gonna every frame of pause. Both versions of Justice League, both the Snyder Cut and the Weed Okay, before we get any too too far into that. TikTok is the worst thing to happen to humanity. This is an undisputed fact. I cannot be argued with. There's there's no argument to that fact. TikTok is the worst. Uh, I I just wanted to get that out there and before I went I moved on. So we, as long as we clear that, let's move it on. Inversion were not good movies, and they were never going to be good movies. Comics are and okay. have always been very queer. They are stories what? written by outsiders for outsiders about outsiders. Okay, there's a lot. There's a lot of. Uh, there's a nice little sandwich there you had there. Okay, no. <laughs> I, I would like to uh, to preface that with no. Uh, I don't know what you mean by like queer. They've always been queer. I don't remember Stan Lee being uh, as you say queer. I don't. I, I don't know what def definition you're saying. You're using this word. Because now it kind of just sounds like you're using it for anybody. Because that is just like blatantly incorrect. Like not to say that there isn't some queer writers and artists and creators. Which more power to them if they want to make comics. Like, it's a free country. They should be able to make comics. That's awesome. And if people want to buy it, then they want to buy it. Um, but that's not, that's not... It hasn't always been queer and made for queer people. And, and then I'll move on to the other part that the... the the outsiders, insider, outsiders. It's made for outsiders, about outsiders, and top, and then inside of outside. Like, what are you talking about? Are you implying that they're made for, like, outsiders are, they can only be queer? Like, there's no other outsider. Are you talking about a nerd? Because that's the, that's the demographic. The demographic is nerd. It's not whatever you're talking about over here with the queer like it, that kind of the nerd kind of takes everything all together but we'll keep going i first wrote about the commodification of nerd oh okay, okay hold up hold up with your five dollar word commodification commodification <laughs> don't you love that these these sjw's they always do this shit where they they use a big word to be like oh look at me i have my Bob haircut and my big ass glasses and I know words like commodification uh, so basically commodification means if you don't already know I'm retarded so I had to look it up because I don't have five dollars for my individual words um, it, it basically means making something valuable that wasn't already valuable and I'm like what are you talking about comics were valuable that's literally why comics are around they were sold for money their value they have value oh you mean <laughs> you mean that they, they, they didn't have value until recently whenever you started you know watching the mcu or something like what are you talking about they didn't have value Culture and, wh and why don't you say that uh you know like a normal person and not say commodification and try to hide it under your your fancy terms commodification <laughs> in 2012 and how it seemed to me that these insiders moving into outsider spaces were going to be the death of it define any of the shit you are saying who are the insiders who are the outsiders are the outsiders holy queer people because that's what you set the, the whole thing up with you set it up with comics are were always made for queer people and then said it's made for outsiders so you're implying that the outsider label is like synonymous with queer and then now you say that out insiders are infiltrating the outsider area like that that's like double negative that's backwards like you can't be you can't be an insider 
and then get in something like you're like what the fuck are you talking about like de de define your shit insiders don't necessarily know how to tell outsider stories and so everything they make is meant to appeal to white straight cis men <laughs> oh my god it's like the default it's the default it's the only thing they know how to go to they have no other argument other than white cis man it goes to white cis man. Okay, okay. I'm gonna try and and understand what she's talking about. Okay, she's saying there are outsiders, as in like counterculture group. I'm gonna try to ignore the queer part because she's. It, it sounds like they're. She means that they're the same group, even though this is not true. Like not every person that is a nerd is also a queer person. So I'm gonna. Okay. So outsiders, as in like a counterculture nerd that like before it was not cool to be a nerd now it's cool to be a nerd so now it's got value to you it's got you know commodification uh so now all of a sudden it's got value so are you saying that like the out the insiders <laughs> and just use just use t like regular people terms you fucking c just use regular words okay are you talking about like cool jock people coming into or people that don't understand nerd culture coming in and making things for nerd culture that's the problem with these fucking intellectuals and like like you try to build make yourself sound so fucking smart commodification insider outsider built always built for the queer people like fucking just talk so people can understand you i don't know if that if you forgot that part of communication but it that you know the whole point of communicating is to communicate your ideas and not sandwich them in to your, you know, your gender studies, college degree level, like fancy talk shit. Okay. Cause I don't, I don't, I don't understand your double speak. So just use regular words, bitch. Sorry. Anyways, what, what did she just say? <laughs> white cis man. Oh yeah. White cis man. Okay. So, okay. Hold on. She's saying that there was a point in time recently there were before it it was not written or created for with I, I i completely disagree with the the whole point that it was ever created for a single demographic like white cis men i reject that hypothesis 100 percent for a long time you know back when it was originally created have white cis men or oh God, i hate using their fucking terms white men you know as the main characters like you know superman captain america batman right but it was not created specifically for this demographic. It was there. They've been created for everybody because it's a capitalist. It's an artist and capitalist system. You make art and then you also make art to sell. And then a audience picks up your art and buy it. It's a, you know, it's a win-win situation. So why would you create something that says this is made for a single demographic? Everybody else get the fuck out. I don't want your money. That makes no sense. Okay, so that's not how it, that's not how it works. Anyway, so she's saying that recently, before before this event, at some analogous time that she doesn't specify, all comics were made for queer people and outsiders, written by outsiders for outsiders, and blah 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 jargon jargon bullshit. And then after that point in time, when it was commodified, now it is created for cis white men because insiders came into an outsider space <laughs> and don't know how to write for quotations outsiders i don't know what the fuck that means <laughs> i i don't know but it sounds dumb as fuck <laughs> whatever it is whatever it is that she's trying to say it's dumb and we're only okay let's keep going and so it's not really a wonder that most comic movies do not reflect the spirit of the comics they are based on. How does an insider tell the story of someone who has never been able to fit in as hard as they try? What is she talking about? Like, it's so vague. It, it, there's no focus. Like, I know, like, the beginning started off with the Snyder Cut is not good. But then she started talk, talking like insiders don't know how to write about outsiders experiences no honey honey sweetheart hun that's what a writer is i don't know if you know this but writers usually write about characters that they aren't 
multiple different types of points of view in the same book even oh my gosh i know i know but books can sometimes have different characters in those books that have different points of view oh my gosh i know but trust me go with me there are writers that have the ability to do that okay maybe not in your ideology sphere because they're all brainwashed to believe a certain point of view which is your point of view and you literally same almost mirror image do not know how to write characters outside of your worldview so this is like projection 101 she cannot understand or not specifically her i don't know if she's a writer i guess she said she wrote an article but not like a writer writer like a writer of stories she doesn't know how to watch a movie and see it from a different point of view everything's made for a white cis male oh that's that's i guess you're the one that hates all those stories because they're white cis and male like you are the one that don't know how to write for other points of view so don't be pointing that shit around to other people like come on and i don't and then again what exactly is she talking about like who in the movie is she talking about that somebody doesn't know how to write for like i don't what the fuck are you have a point lady have a point god damn it all any of this has done is empower a certain subset of white straight cis oh my God. shut your fucking mouth no problem, shut the fuck up you cunt rejected by their peers for one reason or so in one half of the video, she talks about outsiders and how people on the inside don't understand outsiders. And then she, on the second half of it, she talks about white cis men nerds as the bad guy. I'm like, who the, f oh my God. How do these people think that they own morality? That somehow they're above us while doing the very thing that they talk about they say you exclude people while they exclude we need to we need to protect outsider spaces like you know counterculture i'm going to try to use her term in the best way i think she might be meaning it uh like counterculture outsider you know not not straight laced fitting in person a nerd right you got to protect those nerd spaces because people outside of it like executives or whatever can come in and like they don't know how to write for a nerd or something i guess and then go on to specify a section like cut off a little section in the nerd community and say they're all bad like it's so it makes no goddamn sense it's like let's be inclusive except for this swath of you know a, a lot of people that exist that have lives that are good people except for them because this swath, I believe, are bad. I have never, ever said a specific gender or race is bad. These people are the ones that do this shit. These people are the ones that say a race or a gender is a bad thing. Like, they generalize fucking all the time. They can't... Why are you specifying that shit? You could just say there are some people that say mean things. But even then, like, get the fuck over it. This is somebody that does not... <laughs> That does not understand nerd fandom if you think that a group of people that are mad is strange. If you think that that's not part of natural fandoms, then you ain't been here for a while. You have not liked something in the nerd sphere for long enough because that's just a thing. Like, people have opinions. Like, you can't all be like kumbaya all the time and, and, and agree on everything. Like, people just don't agree. And that's okay. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And and that's the reason. It's like, I'd be okay with somebody like this if they weren't pushing this, this negative narrative. Like, see, I am welcoming. I want you, nerdy girl that has large glasses, to be welcome in, in nerd spaces. And you totally are. But it's whenever you step into somebody else's nerd space and then say, oh, you're a piece of shit because there aren't there's more not people like me around it's like well then i don't want you around if you're gonna be like this like, god damn let's finish this up or another have decided to impose that same social hierarchy on nerd spaces making it unsafe for people of color unsafe like i don't know how, how much can be packed into one a, a one minute video but like what are you talking about unsafe unsafe girl unsafe girl unsafe <laughs> 
<laughs> somebody is so okay somebody following you home after you buy the latest issue of uh, fucking saga are you going you're going to the checkout and you're like looking over your shoulder and there's somebody hiding around the racks waiting for you what like unsafe what are you talking about you read you read the comics alone you go home read it like get god man these children like wh grow up grow the fuck up unsafe she's just spouting this the npc talking points is white cis male queer uh piece, persons of color dangerous for like what get your intellectualism get the fuck out of here queer people and women both versions okay that, so that was the first one jeez god damn like like holy shit this is the kind of shit that like, pisses me off it's like some it's an area of like nerddom where it's like you just hang out and you're like like a certain thing or you don't like a certain thing and you kind of tr trash on other things you don't like and you, things you like you talk about and then somebody comes in and just whines about how they're not i'm not included you hate me i'm in danger because i like the last jedi and you don't so you're putting my life in danger because you tweeted that you didn't like last jedi Get the fuck out. Get out. I, you're right. I don't want you here. I don't want you around. You know what? I want to be inclusive to people that are cool. That's my only rule. Rule number one. You're welcome here as long as you are cool. And I mean cool as in chill. As long as you're a chill person and you're cool, we can disagree. We can argue. As long as you're chill after that, that's all that fucking matters, dude. We, we don't have to believe on anything that's political. But you're welcome to come in and like we'll hang out i'll talk to whoever i'll you know we'll, we'll we could find something okay you can find something but if you're gonna be a fucking bitch if you're gonna be somebody like this that just is just i don't like this group of people because they do literally nothing but i want to have somebody to be mad at like no stop like you're the one ha you're the one ca causing the problem you're causing the problem you need to leave we were all cool here there there was girls here there were you know lgbt whatever there were they were here before you stepped in the room <laughs> that's the problem it's like all the things that they fucking whine about like there were there were female characters there were there were women in in nerd spaces there were queer people in nerd spaces already but then they step in and say there are no women and no queer people in this space i have a problem with that <laughs> it's like bitch they're in here. They're in here. Okay, so we're gonna go to the next one. We're gonna go to the next one. So this is a this is a brilliant little uh, little bit of karma, and it kind of comes back real real fast. It's, it's funny. It's real good. All any of this has done is empower recap. a certain subset of white straight cis male nerd. Hi, I fucked up. I judged the entire thing. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah, you did. You bitch. Oh, you did. You fucked up, but not because of the reasons that you think that you fucked up. And she's gonna go into it, but you done fucked up for a whole different reason. Based based on a very vocal minority, with all of the confidence only a white woman could have, went self-deprecating. Nice, very very nice, tasteful. I like it. Forward with my terrible opinion, and in doing so, talked over and devalued the contributions of a lot of fans of color. Yup, <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. There, yeah. Uh, so there's people like uh, you know Eric July making a comic now. If you didn't know that already, Eric July, young Rippa making a comic i heard uh but people like that fans for life way before you're dumbass there's there's no way that you read a comic book before ripa did and you're gonna step in this is exactly what i just said she stepped there's already black people in the nerd community and she's gonna step in and be like there's not enough black representation in here there are no black people in here <laughs> so what the f uh man you stepped in it that I had no idea existed. I didn't. I had no idea existed. <laughs> <laughs> then maybe, just maybe. Now here, now, listen. With here, come over here. Yep, yeah, go a little closer, a little closer. Then maybe you shouldn't fucking make a video. Maybe you should shut up. If you don't know, maybe you should shut the fuck up. I don't know. Didn't follow just my me. Own rule of stepping back and giving myself time to look into a thing before I say anything. I reacted. <laughs> yup. Again. Yeah. 
because I was hurt and I know better than to do that. And I want to. Uh, no, I don't. I, you know, I I have a feeling you don't. I, I have a feeling you don't know better. I do. I really do. I have a feeling you don't. Specifically, call out Joe Davis. She's the one who drew my attention to the fact that the narrative that I had gotten about this was completely wrong. At its core, this was not. I'm just gonna guess here. Now, I don't know Joe Davis. I've never looked at their profile or anything. And if this is incorrect, then I'm I apologize uh, profusely. But 100%, Joe Davis is a woke activist. 100%. 100%. They did not find somebody like like Ripa. They didn't find somebody like uh, just some guy. She went to a woke BLM activist. 100%. I'm going to look this up. I'm going to look it up. Let's, I'm going to look it up. What'd she say that was? Joe Davis on Twitter. Okay, let's do it. Jonita Davis. She, her. Well, fucking dude. Fuck. She, her. The very first thing in the bio. She, her. God damn, take me to Vegas. Take me to Vegas. I, my my betting odds are good. My betting odds are good. I'm surprised there's not a BLM in here. I'm surprised. Anyways, <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Okay, let's keep going. Thanks, Joe Davis. At its core, this was not about entitled fanboys. This was about the fact that Joss Whedon had whitewashed Justice League. In every article I read from 2017 on. Whitewashed Justice League? Did, are you blind? Do you, are you literally, like, you can't see? Like, are those... Those not prescription glasses. You need to upgrade their, your your prescription because I'm pretty sure there's a cyborg in there. He's he is a he's a dark man. I know most of him is metallic, but the the parts that are skin, I, I think they're uh, I think they're black. So I don't know what you're talking about. Whitewashed again. Just just claims claims without any. I, w I would say proof, but without any actual point. <laughs> There's not even uh, proof needed on a no point point. So another claim with no no actual receipt there. Word made it seem like it was a big conspiracy, which is disappointing, but not surprising. I spoke completely out of turn and I am incredibly sorry. I'm always really thankful for people who are willing to check me. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. You're you're very welcome, Cecilia. Especially when something I do is clearly a symptom of me still working through my white privilege. <laughs> yeah. Your white girl privilege. Now, I said it in the tweet. This poor ginger girl suffers from white girlitis. Now, white girlitis doesn't affect all white girls. No. It just affects 100% of leftist girls. It attacks the central nervous system and just takes over. It doesn't allow you to think, you know. It, it, it takes away your cognitive abilities and uh, your, your reasoning abilities. And, uh, you know, you, you, you end up, the, the ultimate end of anybody with white girlitis is 45, living home alone, no children, with 12 cats. Uh, it's a really, it's a pandemic. It's the real pandemic, everybody. And I want, I want, I want the word out. That's really what all this was about. I wanted to get the word out about white girlitis because it's, uh, you know, it affects, it affects a, a lot of us. This is a... <laughs> And I'm making better, proper amends soon. Oh, yeah. I hope you make your reparations soon. I'm, I'll wait for that check in the mail. Shut the fuck up. You're a fucking cunt!